We are in uh, May 2023 and we have a lot of wildfires in the western Canada where there is a lot of forests here. And this is a smoke map and this is the border to United States. So these areas here, that's where the smoke is going over the United States. Now you do have a scale here. These numbers are actually pretty small. Just hide this. So anything under, I would say, perhaps 20... 530 it's not a big number but you will get some uh, smoke uh, particles in the air it's really nothing to worry about it uh, i am going to link you in the comment section this site which is a canadian site actually it's like a smoke forecast so right now we are 18th of may and this is forecasting for 19th of may as well you have this scroll bar you can actually pause the image and just grab this more uh, scroll bar and just move it along so again this is a forecast forecast for tomorrow 19th and you see that if i push it the most it's um it's 18 uh, in the morning right now so this is the forecast for tomorrow looks like oh all, all the way to 20th so um, you will get some smoke down to Florida <laughs> and it looks like it's 18. So I guess these are um, high altitude winds that just carry this, uh, uh, the, the smoke particles. And uh, you may want to know that smoke is uh, cancerogenic, cancerogenic, I think, cancerogenic, whatever the name is in English. It's almost the same in French, in French. so oftentimes it's hard for me to distinguish the two uh, names in both languages. Uh, smoke from wood, it's cancerogenic, obviously a small amount and a small interval, a short interval, it's nothing to really worry about it, but... Uh, we do have this area here, we do have uh, Calgary, uh, this is Calgary, I guess some place there, it's Edmonton, um, I do have a picture of, this is Vancouver on the west coast, and this is past the mountains, so this is a real picture, it's not changed, it's not processed with uh, adobe or something, it's really a red sky, obviously uh, uh, not much visibility, and Vancouver, it's right there so um, perhaps the smoke went away I don't know maybe it's let's go back in time to today see yeah the smoke it's over Vancouver at this point uh, so it's really spreading a lot uh, you see these are the fires actually where the dots are really dark but uh, it depends on the high winds uh, high altitude winds uh, to spread a lot a lot a lot very far away it's really it's crazy <laughs> And again, these are not low numbers here on the scale, two, three, four, uh, nothing really to uh, worry about. But uh, it's still quite impressive how much it can just disperse and just travel. Uh, this is northern, northern Canada. I'm in Montreal right here. It looks like we are kind of um, not in the way. All right, so I'll link this site if you want in the comment section. It's a Canadian site again. Um, I I question do does it cover the entire map of the world so there there appears to be a complete world map but but I don't see other forest fires so um, I'm going to guess this site it's only looking at the North uh, American uh, continent but who knows maybe just come back later on when something happens in other parts of the world and see if there is any coverage again uh, this is going to be put in the comment section just uh, put you a link for this site thanks for watching